This is certainly an exciting time across the state as we prepare to farewell 2022. And South Australia Police are running a major operation across South Australia to ensure we all safely welcome in 2023. My message today is quite a simple one. Uh, please celebrate and enjoy the new year safely and responsibly. Please don't end up in hospital or in police custody because you made a poor choice. Importantly, please plan your evening and make sure someone knows your plan. Plan how you intend to get to your venue to celebrate and importantly, have a plan as to how you will get home. If your plans for the evening enjoy, include having a few drinks, then don't drive. Alcohol and drug driving continue to be major causes of road trauma on South Australian roads. And for this reason, we'll be out in force throughout the night and into the morning with alcohol and drug testing sites set up to ensure we all get home safely. So far this year, 70 people have lost their lives on South Australian roads. And whilst this is the least since these records have been recorded and kept, it is still 70 people too many. And over the long weekend, we'll be out in force on our roads, targeting the known causes of road trauma, such as speeding, inattention, drug and alcohol driving, and failing to wear a seatbelt, to ensure that we are all safe on our roads. So for those of you who are planning to travel, please drive safely on our roads, please have a plan for how you will get to your destination safely. It's also important for those who are celebrating New Year with friends to look after your friends. New Year is about sharing time with family and friends and when you're out and about please look after your friends and ensure they are safe. Excessive alcohol consumption can sometimes impair your thinking and perception. So if someone's had a few too many drinks please make sure they are safe and make sure they can get home safely. Now New Year is a time for family and friends to come together and to celebrate and enjoy. And we're looking forward to sharing that with the community this New Year's Eve. But New Year is not a time for antisocial behaviour. And we will not tolerate antisocial behaviour and we will act swiftly to deal with those people who behave in a disorderly or an offensive manner to ensure all of us can enjoy a safe and comfortable New Year. Good afternoon, Pat Stevenson from SA Ambulance, Acting Executive Director for Metropolitan. New Year's Eve is typically the busiest time of the year for ambulance crews. The message from SA Ambulance Service is simple, stay safe and don't end up spending the night in the back of an ambulance. We anticipate South Australians will be going out in droves to, uh, sorry, we'll start that one again. We anticipate South Australians will be attending events in large numbers this year and we've resourced appropriately for that. SA Ambulance is well prepared for a busy night. We have several additional ambulance resources to cope with large events. These events are predicted in Adelaide, Glenelg and our regional areas of uh, Mount Gambier, Goolwa, Victor Harbour, along with extra resources in the Riverland regions. Our Emergency Operations Centre coordination and support functions have been boosted to facilitate um, the expected demand in calls. While we don't want you in the back of an ambulance, while we don't want you in the back of an ambulance, if there is a medical emergency, we encourage that you call Triple O immediately. I can't stress the importance enough of looking after family and friends and staying safe during this festive period. But if somebody you know or see needs medical attention, please call Triple A. Um, 12 months ago, we were facing a very different New Year's Eve. We were in the midst of significant COVID restrictions. We had small businesses who were really feeling the pinch of years of um, impact due to the COVID pandemic. And the one message 12 months ago was look after each other and make sacrifices for everybody in our community to stay safe. Well, if you fast forward 12 months, the message this year is no different. Um, 
make those sacrifices, make those decisions on our roads this new year period for everybody. It's not just to get you home safe, but it's to get your friends and your family home safe as well. And if you're not making the decision for yourself and your loved ones, then it's for those other people on our roads, innocent users of our roads, who will be safer because of the decisions and the sacrifices that you make this New Year's period as well. Um, there are really simple things you can do on our roads to get home safe. You know, obviously put a seatbelt on, don't speed, don't use your mobile phone whilst driving, but alcohol is um, a huge part of risk this, this time of the year. But there are also things that you can do. There are multiple things that are going on, including surging of taxis, surging of rideshare capacity. We have free public transport being offered by the government to get people home safe as well. But you can also be a designated driver. And you know, if you're a designated driver, putting your hand up and doing the right thing, you're a bloody hero because you're doing the right thing, you're making a sacrifice, and you are helping your friends and your loved ones as, as well. Finally, I just wanted to, to say and to ask uh, everybody to make decisions that support our, our frontline heroes as well. 2022 has been a hell of a year. It's been one that has pushed our emergency services as far as they possibly can go, our police, our paramedics, our fireys. Uh, don't make their job any harder this time of year as well. Um, don't make a decision that you make on the road be the thing that puts our paramedics, our police or our fireys through trauma as well. Uh, finally, just wanted to say at this time of year that so much of the first response and frontline response just doesn't stop. Uh, our emergency services, our police, our paramedics, our, our hospitals, our emergency services in the Riverland and Murraylands are working through, they don't get a break, they don't get a day off. So. If you're wanting to help them, if you're wanting to show your appreciation for the incredible work that our agencies, volunteers and staff are doing this time of year, give them less work to do by driving safe on our roads this New Year's period. Happy to take any questions or of course to Stuart and Pat as well. Once you mentioned the free public transport, can you just go through the details of that and are there going to be additional services? Yeah, so uh, on the operational side of things, I know there's been some, some further um, information put out, so I'll get that for you. I'm not particularly f uh, familiar with the additional surge, but um, this time of year, there's a, there's a collective effort. Uh, we know that our, our roads are, are busier and the call on transport is, is greater, so um, our taxis are surging, our ride share is surging, and, and public transport um, um, is being offered free to get home safe as well. This is something that is a, a year in, year out tradition in, in South Australia and we know that people use it at great um, volumes as well. So uh, it's just one of the things that people can, can, can utilise in the way that they're setting up their night to, to get home safely and get home, get home easily. You don't need to drive home and nor do you need to drive into the major tourist areas to have a fantastic night. Um, over the past few years, obviously, it's been a very different landscape. <clears throat> um, what are you expecting this year? Are you expecting to see, now that the COVID restrictions have pretty much entirely um, lifted, are you expecting that there's going to be more trouble this year than previous years, or about the same? No, well, it's a very exciting time because uh, for the first time in a couple of years, we'll be able to see uh, New Year's Eve as it traditionally has been. Uh, the weather forecast is looking fine. Uh, it should be a great evening for all of us to get out there and safely enjoy the evening. And we're looking forward to working with the community as we return to our first New Year's Eve uh, and going back to what it was like before the pandemic was in place. Do you think that the fact that there are no restrictions though, there will be more people out and potentially more trouble? I don't think so. So I think we'll see things return to a sense of normal as perhaps we're more accustomed to uh, before the pandemic. But I don't think that necessarily translates into any increased concern or any increased trouble. Yes, for the last couple of years, there wasn't the opportunity for people to come together and to celebrate in the way we traditionally have. And we're looking forward to this year being a return to that normal sort of environment for, um, for, uh, for celebrating a new year. But the message is a simple one. It's the same that it always has been. Please celebrate and enjoy the new year uh, safely and responsibly. We're there to work with the community and to ensure that everyone can enjoy themselves and have a peaceful and enjoyable New Year. Um, sorry, oh, no, do, do you have a message for those individuals perhaps who are, you know, out, maybe have had a bit to drink, looking for a bit of travel? What's your, your message to those sorts of people? 
Yes, our, our message to people, as it is uh, for all, all evenings uh, in the city when people are out celebrating and enjoying themselves, the message is a simple one. Uh, don't spend the evening in hospital or in police custody. Uh, enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself responsibly. Don't let your sense of fun and entertainment compromise other people's enjoyment of the night. Uh, we're there to work with the community. We want to ensure that everyone has a safe and enjoyable time. But we are deploying police throughout the state to areas where there, we know there will be gatherings. And we're there to ensure that everyone has a safe and enjoyable evening. But New Year is about a time for celebrating and, and, and having fun. It is not a time for antisocial behaviour. We will not tolerate it. We will not tolerate it, and we'll act swiftly to deal with those people who create um, risk of harm to others or disrupt the enjoyment for the broader community. Can you just, um, specifically sort of detail the areas in which there'll be a greater police presence? And I'm assuming on the roads as well, there'll be more police out. So we're deploying additional police uh, throughout the state. Uh, obviously, the areas of focus will include in the CBD itself in Adelaide. Uh, and also down around the celebrations at Glenelg. But any large gatherings will ensure there's additional police. We're aware of, of course, what's going on at the Adelaide Oval would have uh, sufficient police there as well. And on all of our roads, we're deploying police uh, throughout, throughout the night, but importantly, through into the morning as well. So this is a major operation for us. It is each year. The primary purpose of the New Year's operation is community safety. We want people to be able to go out and enjoy the evening safely and part of our role in that is ensuring that uh, there's a sufficient police out there to maintain that sense of safety for the community. Um, you mentioned that this is the busiest time of year for Android. Would it be fair to say that's the most difficult call that you get at alcohol related? There's, there's a mix of call-outs. We've still got business as usual and, and chest pain type related and respiratory conditions uh, for call-outs. But uh, yes, it does increase with alcohol and drugs. Um, there's a significant increase in, in call-outs for that. And that's, this is why we put extra resources on in both our emergency operations centre and uh, you know, at large events. Given the weather forecast, it's going to be hot. People combine that with alcohol. Do you expect that that's going to be to an even higher surge, the, the mixture of those two factors? Fortunately, the weather's actually uh, quite reasonable over the weekend. Um, what I will say, though, is that if you are drinking, then we would encourage you to supplement that with water as well and, and obviously limit the quantity of alcohol that you drink. It does cause dehydration. Look for the signs in your friends and colleagues around dehydration and just try and stay hydrated as best as possible and avoid that summer heat and, um, and stay safe. Are there any other questions? Um, can I just go back to Stuart just for a second? Um, this is semi related. We touched on the road, um, the road toll earlier before. Um, is, do, you, do you have any comment as to why the road toll is significantly lower at this time? So, so far this year, 70 people have lost their lives on South Australian roads, which is still 70 too many. But it's very pleasing to see that it is a reduction on previous years, and in fact it is the lowest since these records have been kept. I think we have to thank the broader South Australian community for heeding the messages and driving safely on our roads. We all have a part to play in relation to road safety. Uh, at the end of the day, it's about how people conduct themselves when they drive, and it's pleasing to see that there is an improvement uh, in people's behaviour on the road. Our part in police is to ensure we target those known causes of road trauma. So we've run a series of operations throughout the year in campaigns that target the known causes of road trauma, such as speeding, uh, drink and drug driving, inattention, failing to wear seatbelts. So I, I believe it's a combination of our campaigns and the operations that we have uh, had in play, but also the fact that the community is listening to the message, people are taking responsibility, and collectively we're all working together to keep each other safe on our roads. Just a question that's non-New Year's, well that's non-New Year's Eve related. Um, overnight there was an incident in the city where a motorcyclist was bike jacked, as we can say. Can you just talk us through that incident? Yeah, so um, at about 5am this morning, a gentleman was riding his motorcycle uh, through the city and at the intersection of Holtley Street and South Terrace, a car pulled up next to him. Uh, some men got out of that vehicle uh, and threatened him with a knife and stole his motorcycle. 
Uh, we're conducting an investigation into that, but we ask anyone who was in the vicinity at the time, or perhaps anyone who may have vision of that particular intersection, or anyone who knows anything about that to call Crime Stoppers. Uh, this is very concerning. Someone should be able to commute and ride through the city at any time of the day and not have this happen to him. So we're actively investigating that matter now and we ask for anyone information to call Crime Stoppers. How, um, how confident are you that you're going to capture the people responsible? Uh, we're very confident. We do have um, uh, details in relation to that vehicle. We have a registration number which we're currently investigating and following up. So I'm confident uh, that our inquiries will result in an early arrest. But anyone who has information that can assist us with those inquiries, please contact Crime Stoppers. I don't know. I suppose how brazen is it to do something like that in the middle of the city, um, free people against one motorcyclist? Yeah, well, this behaviour is very concerning, and as I say, people should be able to commute through the city and not have this sort of behaviour occur. We are concerned about it, we're actively uh, investigating it, and we ask anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers. Any other questions? Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.